Hi and welcome to my channel. What I've got for you today is a Luigi's Mansion PowerPoint game which you can play with your students in the classroom or online. What I'm going to do is show you just how to play the game and also how you can edit the questions and the answers to fit with your own lesson content. What we'll do first is we'll just click to go into the game. And here we go at the title screen. Now, if you click the start button here, it's going to take you into a cutscene, and then you'll go into the game. We're just going to skip that. We're going to click on this flashing Luigi's Mansion logo. Okay, and here we are at the main menu for the game. As you can see, we're visited by a spooky ghost who is informing us that if we click on the Luigi's Mansion logo, we can actually select our teams and add our points. If we click on the elevator buttons, it will take us to the different levels in the mansion where we will have to answer different questions. Let's just go and select our teams and our characters first and then we'll come back and we'll go through the actual gameplay. Here we are at the point screen. As you can see, you can play with up to six different teams or six individuals. and you can actually choose different characters for each team. We'll leave team one as Luigi, and then we'll have Mario, Princess, Toad, this uh, ghost cat, and this uh, ghost dog. Over on the right side, you'll see there's this spooky picture. Inside the picture are four different objects. If you find a key, you can receive two points for your team. If you find this vacuum cleaner, ghost blaster, you can receive three points for your team. And for rescuing Princess or Mario, you receive five points. Let's go back to the elevator by clicking on the flashing logo. Okay, here we are. What we'll do is we'll go through uh, the, the gameplay. I'll show you how to answer the questions and then I'll show you how we can also edit them. We'll start at the basement level, right down here at the bottom, and we'll just work our way up. So let's click on the flashing button. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, this is a grid game. So the way this works, students will have to choose a word from the left-hand side and also a word from the top. They have to put those two words together to make a sentence. If they make a correct sentence, then they get to open the corresponding door and see what is behind it. So, I'll give you an example. If we were to choose the word on, and then from the top row we could choose the word bed. Students could make a sentence, something like, the cat is on the bed. If they made a correct sentence, then they would get to open this door here. So let's click on it and see what's hidden behind. As you can see, they win a key. So let's just go and add that those two points to our team. We can do that by clicking on Luigi down here in the bottom right corner. Here we go, back at the point screen. Let's give Luigi two points for the key. Right, now we need to go back to the elevator so we can go back to the basement. So let's click on the flashing logo. Back to the basement and we can carry on with the game. Let's try another one. Let's just say the word under and the word bed. So students could say something like, 
the monster is hiding under the bed. If they say a correct sentence, they get to open this door. Let's see what's behind it. Oh dear, and it's a spooky ghost, which means they don't win any points for their team. Right, let's just click on a few random doors and I'll show you what you might find. Um, okay, another key. Let's choose one down here. Another ghost, so no points that time. Um, how about up here? Ah, the vacuum cleaner, which is worth three points for your team. Let's try over here. Okay, and that time we actually rescued Princess, which gives us five points for our team. Let's just click on a few more. Okay, five points for rescuing Mario this time. Okay, so you get the basic idea. Students need to make a sentence to open the door and they'll either receive something which is worth points or they'll receive a ghost and not get any points. To add the points to the menu, we click on Luigi. To go back to the elevator and change levels, we just click on the flashing logo in the top left corner. Okay, so here we are back at the elevator. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how you could actually play this game using numbers and math questions. So we'll go to a different level. Let's try level 10. Okay, here we go. As you can see on the left side and across the top, I have some numbers. The way we could play this, you could play this with addition or subtraction or multiplication. For example, we could do uh, two times three equals six. And if students get it correct, they could open this door. Let's just do another one. How about um, 6 times 11 is 66. How about uh, 4 times 11? <laughs> 8 times 7? 10 times 9? Okay, so you get the idea. So this is how you could actually use this game to practice your uh, math questions as well. Let's just go back to the main menu. Okay, here we are in edit mode. All we really need to do to edit the text is to click on each box and simply delete and type in your new word. All right, so I'll just put in he again all right and if we wanted to change the words at the top we could say let's change it to a different verb um no thinking all right if it doesn't fit in the box we can simply change the font size there we go and that's all there really is um just change the words as you know whatever works with your lesson again if you were using numbers you would just click on the box and change the numbers what I'm going to do now is show you how you can shuffle these doors and ghosts around the screen just to mix it up for your students each time you play this game. Now to do that I'm just going to zoom out a little bit on my mouse, there we go, makes it a little bit easier. The important thing to remember here is when we move one of these characters we need to make sure that the door goes with them. So this door belongs to this ghost. All right, they are connected, so we need to keep them together. 
So what I'll do is I'll just move this ghost down here out of the way. And I'll make sure I take the door with them as well. There we go. All right, now I can click and drag another ghost or perhaps Mario into this position. So let's move Mario. We'll click and drag him down here. Make sure his door goes with him because it belongs to him. There we go. And now we can actually move this ghost up here. We'll move the door first. And we'll just move the ghost with the door. There we go. All right. Let's just do another one quickly. So let's move this ghost down here. Let's keep the door with him. And why don't we move, uh, I don't know, this cat. We'll move this cat down here. Make sure the door goes with it. And then we can move this guy all the way up here. All right. So that's all there really is to mix up the the doors and the characters. Make sure that each character or key stays with its own door because they are connected in terms of animations. All right, that's it. That's all we really need to do to edit this game. It's really simple. Um, let's just go back to the main menu. If you like the look of this game, you can download it for free from the link in the description box below. And if you want it to look exactly the same as it does in this video, you can also download the fonts that I used. If you're not sure how to do that, check out my short tutorial on how to install fonts for PowerPoint. And if you want to stay up to date with other games I'll be making, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.